Continue our team coverage with Boy 31's Breck and Terry. She's live at Birmingham at Senator Jones' watch party, and we understand he's just taken the stage and going to speak now. Let's take a live listen. Are representing this great state in the United States Senate. Following in the footsteps of my former boss, Howell Heffel. And it has been a real honor. It's been an honor because it's been your voice out there. And I so very much appreciate it. My family so very much appreciates it. You know, tonight didn't turn out the way we wanted. I am going to be reaching out to Coach Tuberville to congratulate him and offer our support in whatever transition we can do. And to remind him that now he represents one Alabama. He's not just those folks that voted. He represents everybody. That's what we have tried to do. And folks, let me tell you, what we've done the last three years is more than just about one Senate race. It's more than, it's, it's never been about Doug Jones or the Jones family. This has always been about a state, a state that we all love, a state that we care about, a state that has gone through massive changes over the years, and we are in the process of going through those again. We've seen so many different things that have happened over the last few years. We've seen so many good things and positive things. But at the end of the day, Alabama is still a work in progress. We know that. Alabama still ranks low in education. We still rank high in unhealthy outcomes. We still rank in a, in a place that we want to make sure we can do better. Those are the things that we're going to continue to work on. Those are the things that you've been working on with me for the last three years. And for that, everybody in Alabama ought to be appreciative. I know I am. I know that there are folks in Washington, D.C., that are, because as we go forward, we're not going to stop. Because one of the things that we all know, when we came up and started coming out, and we came out of last year with One Alabama, we meant it. We are all in this together. We are doing everything to lift all boats, to make sure that every man, woman, and child in Alabama has an equal opportunity are treated equally with dignity and respect, to make sure they have the opportunities for a job and a better education. Those are the things that we've been talking about. Those are the things that you've been talking about, and those are the things that we're going to continue to build. I am really proud of all that has happened in the last three years. At the end of the day, my time in the Senate is going to be over. But our time has just begun. Our time to make our state so much better than what it has been, to make sure that we continue the march of progress. Because at the end of the day, that's where we are. You know, we could talk a lot tonight about all of those things that we, we've accomplished in the last three years. And there's a lot. There's a lot that the people of Alabama don't even know about yet, but they'll learn. Because, at the, but because what we're, we've been able to do is to meet and talk to so many people. And I can't help it if we can't counter every lie. I can't, I can't do that, and it's okay. Because at the end, at, what we're going to do is go forward with progress. And I know this. I know that we're going to be fine, and you're going to be fine. Because... Everyone has contributed to this over the last three years. So many people, so many people that didn't even vote for Doug Jones tonight has contributed to make this place a better, whether it's farmers, teachers, healthcare workers, first responders, mayors, city councilors, county commissioners, everyone has contributed. And for that, I'm, I'm forever, ever grateful. I will never have any regrets. And I, I, I during some of these, meetings that we've gone to and some of our get out the vote rallies. I always quote John Lewis. I quote John as part of a kind of a get out the vote, try to get everybody enthused. But I want to, I want to read that again because I think it's important to remember who we are and what this state is about and that we have more in common than divides us. John always 
would quote the old African proverb, when you pray, move your feet. And I used to quote that about trying to get people out and work and, and try to make these changes as a, as a way of a campaign. But what John went on to say, and what he really meant was something different. He went on to say, as a nation, if we care for the beloved community, we must move our feet, our hands, our hearts, our resources to build and not tear down to reconcile and not to divide, to love and not to hate, to heal and not to kill. In the final analysis, we are one people, one family, one house, the American house, the American family. Folks, for the last three years, we've been the Alabama family. We've been the Alabama house. And John's words are as important now and maybe more important than they were when he wrote them a number of years ago. I've got so many people that I could thank. I'm just not going to rattle them all off. I know my mom and my sis are looking on. They're all crying, just like many of you are. But they've been there with us. These guys up here, daughter Courtney, husband Rip, granddaughters Ever and Ollie, and an amazing staff. One of the most amazing Washington, D.C. and Alabama staff ever. And an amazing group of campaign folks that worked and worked and worked. We touched three million people. We've worked so hard. Joe Trippi, Doug Turner. I've, I've, I've got to stop right there. David Yankovich, and I promised David I would say something. So my social media guy right there. If, if, you, if, you, do, if you see anything I do on Twitter, it's his damn fault. Alec, we've looked, we've got so much that we have, have accomplished. But here's the thing, and I'm just going to end on this tonight, because we love you, we appreciate you, the state of Alabama appreciates all that you've given to us and back to the state. But you know what? Everybody has said, you know, Doug, how, did you, how do you try to navigate this, and how do you navigate that? And we've never done that. We followed our principles. We've been true to our principles. And I believe one day, with the help that we've had with the Democratic Party, the changes that we made, we're going to be proven right on a lot of things, folks. Because we are still a work in progress. We are still, and Chris England is around here somewhere, but I am so proud of Chris England and the Alabama Democratic Party for all that they've done and all that they're going to do. So for us tonight, smile. It's been good. It's been great. You know it has. And with all due respect to Frank Sinatra. You've been watching a uh, very gracious concession speech by Senator Doug Jones after losing a hard-fought race to uh, Former Regrets. Auburn football coach Tommy Tuberville, who beat him in the Senate race tonight. Uh, jo Jones said he was proud of the last three years in the Senate, offered to help Tommy Tuberville in any way he could during the transition over the next several months, finished up by saying he has no regrets.